Okay. Nope. Got to get them moving forward. Nice dusky. Okay. Got it. Uh, yeah. Alright, watch yourself here. I'm coming back with it. Nice. Alright. They're getting bigger with each passing shark. That's her. Okay, man, the pick them up. Okay. Heck yeah. Got him. like a bash. And you can see. Oh, easy there, Frank. He doesn't want to be rolled over. Again, you can see the circle hook did its work here. And also this uh, the blocker rig that we have here that helps to ensure that that hook ends up in the corner of the mouth. Okay, so this is nice female dusky, probably... Uh, Probably about 75 pounds worth. Get measurements on her here. Got 51 inches, 56 inches, and 70 inches. Fifty-one, fifty-six, seventy. Sure. Seventy inches and. Uh, you know, <laughs> 75 pounds. Alright, so now we're also going to give her a shot. 56 inch dosage. She's getting a shot. She's getting a shot of this antibiotic. This is uh, oxytetracycline which is an antibiotic that's often used in veterinary medicine. Used to be used for people, but it had a side effect that it stained or turned people's teeth yellow. So they quit giving it to people. They still give it to animals. We give it to the sharks not for the antibiotic qualities, but for the fact that the side effect, it stains the vertebrae of the shark. And actually, I'm going to have to flip her over here a minute now. You watch, she's going to go nuts again when I turn her back over. Yeah, Bob, let's give her the snorkel. Um, so we give this to her because there's some biologists trying to learn how they can measure the vertebrae of any shark and determine the age. So by us uh, injecting it, the side effect is it'll stain the vertebrae and if the biologists are ever able to sample that vertebrae, they can see how much it grew out from the stain. It would be as if you stained one ring on a tree and came back years later and cut the tree. Okay, so now we'll put the tag right here. I like to put a little starter hole in there. Easy, girl. And now I'll just punch it right in there, right at the base of the dorsal. So that tag will stay with her pretty much for the rest of her life. And we'll get our fin clip here for the DNA study. That'll go into the vial. And uh, and there we have her. Hold on. And of course we have the hose run in here. You can see the water coming out of the gill. That just, as we're working on her, that, that allows the you know some flow and keeps her that much healthier for the release. Let's see if she can give it up. She doesn't want to give it up. So we're gonna put her overboard. With the hose. And we're just going to hang on to it. 
She doesn't want to let go of the hose. There she goes. Off. She is out of here. Oh, she's coming up to the surface. Yeah, she's here. Almost. Goodbye.